Welcome to T Boys TV. I'm back again with another vlog from home, another remaining remaining massive home game against Brentford. Lineups have come out and Rob Edwards pranked us. Rob Edwards pranked us all. Uh Lukonga and Osho, who I said in not the hat show yesterday, the one before that, there's rumours they could be available for this game. Uh, they said that in the opening training session to fans. They are both available and they are both straight back in the lineup. So it seems like it's the three at the back. Uh, we've obviously Kaminsky in goal. So the back three of Burke, Mengi and Osho. Um, and then Kabore on the right. Doughty on the left. Lukonga, Barkley in that holding more midfield role. Clark, Chong and Morris. And then the bench is Shea, Krull, uh, Berry, Woodrow, Ruddock, Hashioka, Townsend, Fred and Johnson. So... It's good that they're back, man. It's massive at this stage, and I think that could be vital today. You know, as for Brentford team news, their main sort of talking point is Ivan Tony not being in. Um, I thought he'd at least be on the bench, but apparently he's, you know, he's not being risked. Uh, their manager has said so. Interesting, but I think it's a good opportunity, like I said yesterday, and it needs to be a game where we need to get a positive result. You know, whether that's a draw or a win, in my opinion. But I'm going to stick with a 2-1 Morris and Chong to score. But yeah, your thoughts on the lineup, Dad? Yeah, excellent news. Um, you know, it, it's happened before. Remember, I think it was with Ruddock, and he said that he, he wouldn't play it, and he did. That was good. Um, it's a massive boost. I think it's going to help the fans, and I think I think it could, um, especially with Tony not even being at any part, they've got some dangerous players. But I just think that we'll want it more, and we'll and I think we will get the win now. I'm going to change my prediction to a uh, two-one Luton. 2-1 as well. Yeah, it was when Ruddock, they said he was in defence and he wasn't. Uh, that's the last time it sort of got pranked like that. Um, but that was more so people guessing the lineups and that sort of thing. But Rob Edwards come out and said, no, they're not available, but they are. So it's good to see that they are. You know, they were targeting this game and it's good that they're in it. What a save that is from Kaminsky. Yet again this season. Regular on with the ball played in. What a, what a save. What a save that is from Kaminsky. It's played in. It's a shot. Oh, this is a good goal. 1 0 to Brentford. Now Clark plays forward to Chong. Chong! Oh, what a chance. Another injury. Yeah, Kabore. Very, you know, unfortunate. I feel sorry for him because, you know, he's game since that. Villa game that we lost, he's been very good. Waymo on the ball. Let's play across. Oh my god, it's so Why scrappy. Why the fucking hell did that go in? <laughs> this is crap performance first half, not good enough. Corner here to Brentford again. Oh, I don't know how many of them at this point. Alright, we're down. That's it, we're down. Yep, 100%. 100%. Championship, mate. Not acceptable. It's not acceptable, that first half performance. Run out of ideas now, that's it. Yep. 4-0. 4-0. This is an absolute disgrace, yeah? This is a disgrace. If any idiot backs this, you need to sort yourself out, yeah? Because I'm going to call it out for what it is now. Because that is not acceptable. This is not Brent for the last year. This is not acceptable, yeah? And the sooner the fans start realising, the better, yeah? Because certain fans are too soft, yeah? And let's call it for what it is. It's an important game that we needed to get a result out of. And now the momentum's gone. You know, we are not beating Wolves, yeah? I hope I'm wrong. We are not beating Wolves. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. This is not Man City. This is not Liverpool. This is not Arsenal. This is not one of them teams. This is Brentford, who have been piss poor the whole fucking season for their standards. This is not acceptable. Because I've had enough of this. This is not acceptable. I know we've got injuries, but still, we've got players back. What difference has it made? Nothing. 5-0, some guy scored that I've never fucking heard of. Absolutely disgusting performance. Absolutely disgusting. We scored a goal. Whoopie doo. You know. Luke Berry. I mean, he does well, but overall performance just ain't been good enough. Dog shit. Let's face it, he's not a player that's going to be with us going forward. We well, shouldn't be. I'm just going to be real. Like, big up to him. Big part of the rise. But it's not, not good enough going forward. Let's be honest. But there we go. He's not the only player. I feel that of a lot of players. And I've got no confidence for the rest of the season. Uh, if we concede him five goals at home to Brentford. Yeah. It's worrying times. <laughs>